I'm Dylan Carter, sports director for KIFI, and we're here today to get to know Idaho State basketball. We have uh, to my left women's basketball head coach Seton Sobolewski and Estefania, Estef Estefania Ors. I knew I was going to screw that up. Then on my right, we have uh, new men's basketball coach Ryan Looney and senior Jared Stutzman. And uh, I'm going to start with you, Coach Looney. Uh, you're new on campus. Uh, what can Idaho State basketball fans expect to see from a Ryan Looney team? Honestly, uh, I think right now we're probably the biggest mystery in the Big Sky Conference, and not necessarily to everybody else, but to ourselves, too. Um, our coaching staff is entirely new. Uh, we only have six returning players from last year's team, uh, 11 newcomers. Uh, so we're working as hard as we possibly can every day. That process started all the way back uh, last summer. Um, we're getting better, uh, but I think we still kind of don't know what to expect uh, from ourselves quite yet, either. You mentioned there's a lot of new faces. What are some of who are some of the the names that uh, Idaho State and Big Sky basketball fans will get to know as the season progresses? Well, there's a number of them. Um, obviously, we brought in uh, five guys from the College of Southern Idaho. Uh, they're all doing a great job right now. Uh, Corian Russian uh, has been good. Braden Parker uh, is a nice player. Malik Porter, uh, Jackson Edelmeyer, uh, Nico Aguirre. Uh, also locally, Daxton Carr from um, Highland High School transferred back from Cal Poly. Uh, so there's a number of guys uh, that have an opportunity uh, to help us this year. Uh, we're hoping for uh, great contributions uh, from all of them, but we also know that we need to combine uh, their ability with some of our returners like Jared as well. And Jared, you are uh, one of those returners. What's it been like uh, transitioning with the new staff and, and all the new players? Yeah, it's been good. Um, Anytime you get a new coach, because I transferred before, so I played for a new coach, it's different. Everything's different. How you run practice, how you condition, um, how you lift weights, it's all different. Um, but it's been really good. Um, coach is really big on everything as a team. We do everything as a team. We don't start lifts unless the whole team's ready to do it. Um, so it's been really good. We're, we're starting to come together as a team. And um, like Coach said, we're kind of an, un, 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 an unknown right now. Um, but we're working hard to kind of find our identity, and we'll show that on the court. Something also new for the men's team this year is that uh, you're going to be playing at Reed Gym as opposed to Holt Arena. You played at both, Jared. What's what's the difference, and, and how do you feel about the move? Yeah, Reed's a lot warmer in the winter, <laughs> um, so that'll be nice. And it's I think it's a better place to play. Um, I think it's better for the fans. That's what I've all heard from my family and my friends. Um, it's, a, it's a lot more intimate environment. Um, you're a lot closer to the court, and it gets a lot louder. So we're excited to be in Reed this year. All right, and uh, I've heard Reed Jim referred to a time or two as Seton's house. So with that, <laughs> let's turn over to... <laughs> I didn't call it that. <laughs> with the women's team, here's Seton Sobolewski. Um, what are going to be some of the keys uh, for your team's success this year? What can fans look forward to? Well, you know, we, we've, we're coming off of a two- or three-year stretch where we had some steady eddies. You know, everyone kind of knew that Grace Kenyon was going to be there and Sather Grandin was going to be there, and we had a pretty established uh, identity. Um, but we graduated four out of our top five scores last year with the Steffi being the only returner. And um, so we're filling things out ourselves. Um, we're trying to incorporate some really good um, youngsters that we're excited about, you know, uh, Diaba Conti and, and Tamika Whitman, Elena Jones. Um, you know, we've got five freshmen that you know, could all potentially play and make good contributions. So we're trying to blend them in and kind of teach them the way. But uh, um, it's a little bit of a mystery for us, too. You know, we don't know 100% what our identity is going to be like um, this, time, this go around. You know, we always defend well. We always rebound pretty good. But um, we're, we're still working on our chemistry, too. And Estefania, you are uh, the only senior on the roster with such a young team. What kind of responsibility or role do you feel you are going to play this year? Well, I think I need to follow the example that Grace was giving up to me like the last three years. So I think it's like being aggressive, practice hard, it be there for your team and be a family on the team. I think that's the core values and defense and rebound and that's it. She's saying that because I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Now, uh, you made um, uh, uh, an early exit in the Big Sky Tournament, a rare one for you guys. How does that motivate you coming back uh, this year? 
Wait, repeat it again, the question. Uh, you, uh, you lost in the Big Sky Tournament a little bit earlier than you guys usually do. Mm -hmm. What kind of motivation does that drive for you coming in this year? Like, I want every year, like, since I've been here, I want to win every year. So it kind of, like, I, I don't think it changed my mentality. I just want to work hard to be the best player I can be for my team. And how do you feel like you're better this year than you were last year? Um, I think I'm more mature. And I think I need to be more like a role model for the young players, as Coach said. So I think I'm more mature in that thing. I have to be louder in, in practice. All right, and I'm going to turn to you, Jared, and ask you the same question. Um, how are you uh, better this year as, as a player? Um, number one, I think I'm in the best shape I've been in my college career, um, which I should be as a senior. Um, and then number two, I feel really healthy coming into this year. Um, I feel um, confident um, in what coach is putting in, that I'll be able to fit in well with this system. So um, I'm just really feeling good coming to this year. I'm excited. Um, it's my last go around, and I'm just ready to get rolling. And uh, talk about uh, you know, your role. Uh, you're a senior as well. You're not the only one. Uh, but um, kind of a keep when a new coach comes in, you're kind of maybe, maybe a little bit of a steady course for there. How can you describe your role? Yeah, um, like Coach said, we have a, a lot of new guys. And he, they're, the coaching staff's all new as, uh, as well. Um, so as seniors, I think we've kind of felt like we had to kind of hold it down a little bit, especially through the transition of trying to hire someone. Um, it's, a, it's a stressful time. Um, we know you're going to have guys leave, um, but um, one of the blessings we do have is a lot of our returners are older guys, um, and so they've been around college basketball a lot, and they know what they're doing, um, and that really helps because I believe there's really no substitute for experience when it comes to basketball. And uh, not only are you one of the returners, but uh, you're one of the Idaho guys. A lot of Idaho guys on this team, uh, Coach Looney, you kind of put the Idaho in, in the Idaho State <laughs> with, with uh, a lot of your players. Can it, was that uh, something that uh, you – intentionally wanted to do when you came in or kind of did this just happen based on the guys you were looking for? I think I'd be lying if I said it was intentional. Um, I got here permanently May 1st. Uh, at that point we had no assistant coaches, uh, six players on the team. Um, we worked as hard as we possibly could uh, in every area to fill all those gaps as fast as we could. Uh, we got a complete staff hired quickly. And then it seemed like day after day, uh, we were bringing guys in on visits, um, trying to convince them that this would be a great fit for him or them. Uh, it just kind of worked out that way. Um, like I said, I don't think that that was necessarily the plan going in. But as we kind of worked through all those conversations with recruits and other coaches out there, we thought that the guys that we came up with would be the best uh, fit for us right now. I want to ask you, if anyone follows Coach Looney on Twitter, you'll see the hashtag SawWood. What, what's the meaning behind that, and what was kind of the motivation behind that? You know what, kind of something I came up with uh, a few years ago. Um, it's really pretty simple. Uh, everything we do, we want to work hard, we want to be consistent, want to be in great rhythm, all, th all things you need to be able to do if you're going to be great at sawing wood. So just kind of two words that... Uh, we can shout out to our players uh, or amongst our staff uh, if we think um, guys need to pick it up a little bit. We got to run harder in transition. We're telling them to saw wood. We got to execute better on offense. We're telling them to saw wood. Uh, they got to do better on an exam. We're telling them the same thing. All right. Well, I love it. Um, Seton, uh, turning back to you, um, is there uh, what's kind of the message? Uh, is there anything that's specific to this year, message-wise, that you kind of have for your for your team as you? Heading the season? I don't think there's anything new. You know, we, we were pretty consistent in the, the types of things that we emphasize and the way we want to practice and the way we want to prepare to play games. Um, you know, the people that have been around us for a while, you, they kind of know what to expect. And we, we have a pretty ingrained culture when it comes to the way we train and the way we do things. So um, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot different. I think uh, this year what, what some people may see that's different is uh, – an increase in athleticism, you know, especially with you know, Diaba and, and Tamika adding adding them and Elena and Carson, you know, that that bolsters our, our team athleticism. I think some of our returners have done a pretty good job in the weight room to, to improve their athleticism, especially our forwards, you know, with uh, Irene and Ellie and um, Delaney and, and uh, um, Caitlin. They've all really improved in the weight room, and they're moving better than they ever have. So. Um, I think if there's anything that's different, it would be that. So what, is, what has to go well for you? What kind of has to be 
has to work for you in order to have the kind of season you want to have? I think we have to have uh, consistent effort and practice, which you know we we typically do. You know we 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 do a really good job in that department, but. Um, we've got to get better every day, and, and we've got to maneuver our tough non-conference schedule and, and uh, not get too up, not get too down about that, and, and just see as we start putting the pieces together what kind of team we can be by the time conference rolls around. Estefania, what are you looking forward to most for this upcoming season? Um, I mean, I want to win. I wanna <laughs> <laughs> so that's like my, I think that's our goal. For that reason, we practice, you know, because we want to win. So that's kind of like my goal. But like, also, I want to like be, have like team chemistry and how I could say is like, I feel like our team is more athletic than other years. And, and I don't know, that's, that's it. All right, uh, Jared, I'm going to ask you as well, what are you looking forward to most this season? Uh, yeah. Winning is awesome. Um, anytime you can win, obviously. Um, I just, being a senior, I'm just excited to have like this one last go. I'm really every day I wake up and I try to appreciate because um, I know it's one day less that I have, um, and I really enjoyed my time here at ISU. Um, so I'm just looking forward to giving my best effort every day, every game, um, developing those bonds with my coaches and my teammates. Um, there's really no, nothing like it, and there's it's hard to find those bonds in other places. Um, so I'm just looking forward to the whole experience. Um, I love being an ISU Bengal and. Um, just looking forward to the year, yeah. All right, I always feel like that uh, every locker room needs to be a little bit loose, a little bit, uh, you know, to relieve some of the tension. So I'm going to ask uh, each of the players, who is your team's MVP when it comes to making sure everybody, <laughs> who's, who's the jokester, who's the one that kind of helps the team? S stay loose. Stay loose, yeah. Stay loose, what, what that means? Like, like sense of humor. Like they're, oh, they're funny, they so start. Dora Gullish. <laughs> like, she so always, like, making jokes and kind of, like, make the team like laugh all the time honestly with any jokes yeah she's definitely like the team clown and uh, <laughs> goofball yeah yes, it is. all right and uh, who's who's your guys with mvp in that regards chitty you dang no <laughs> doubt Chitty's a character he keeps us all laughing um he's a great guy who do you think um uh coach Loney, who do you think is maybe the uh, most underrated guy on your team maybe one that doesn't get a lot of uh, name in the papers or anything like that, but uh, somebody that's pretty key to what you guys do. Well, I think about 80% of our roster hasn't had their name in the paper <laughs> yet. Um, so maybe it could be uh, any of them. Uh, I would say all of our returners right now have worked extremely hard, and not just in practice, but embracing kind of a new culture, uh, a new coaching staff, uh, new teammates. I think when we stepped in the weight room, uh, early in the summer as a group, those guys fought their way through that. Um, I think uh, we threw some conditioning stuff at them, which they haven't had to do in the past, which always isn't the most enjoyable thing, but they fought through that. So I don't know if I could name necessarily one specific guy. I just think that group did a really good job uh, adopting everything being new extremely early. And we'll get to know pretty much a lot of your team yeah. at the same time. Uh, Seton, who's uh, who's maybe one of your underrated players that uh, maybe deserves more credit than they may get? I don't know. I, I think you know, Steffi. You know, she's won a lot of awards through through the years. You know, freshman of the year and six man of the year, and, and it's, so it's hard to say who Steffi is. Um, you know, I, I think she's going to have a, a new role. Um, you know, in terms of just increased leadership this year, but. Uh, maybe someone that the people forgot that's pretty good is Dora, you know, Dora Golish. You know, she's been injured the last year, and she had ACL, and then she had a foot surgery, and now she's back practicing. So people may have forgot she was our starting starting point guard two years ago, um, and so uh, maybe she's somebody that surprises people a little bit. But I also think we have uh, two freshmen, just and a lot of really improved returners, but uh, two freshmen that are pretty good with with Diaba and Tamika. All right, and I'm going to ask uh, both coaches as well, um, start with you, uh, Ryan. Uh, tell us a little bit about um, your schedule, maybe some of the games that, um, that uh, you're looking forward to, and just kind of a little bit about uh, what you're facing. Well, our schedule's tough. Uh, early, a lot of them are on the road. Uh, we'll go play Wyoming and Air Force the first weekend. We have a game at Washington State, one at Pepperdine, Santa Clara. So there's a number of them. Uh, honestly, right now, I don't think we necessarily care who's on our schedule. Uh, our team has communicated. Really, our only goal is to win our next our next game one possession at a time. And really, what we mean by that is we're just trying to get better day by day. 
Um, those early games will definitely help us. We know that going into it, we don't need to be our best week one. We need to slowly get better so that by the end of the, the year, we're the best team we can capably be. All right, and uh, Seton, uh, what about your schedule? What are some of the things you're looking forward to, and what uh, challenges do you guys face? Well, we got a, a handful of home games, the so University of Seattle, Cal Baptist, and, and two non-Division one opponents. Um, but then we do have some tough ones. We're going to go and play Oklahoma State. At Oklahoma State, we're going to go play at Duke. Uh, we're going to go play at Arizona State. And, um, you know, we've, we've always done this every year. You know, we, we're going to play some of those tough games. We're going to play some guaranteed games. And, and if we are, we're going to get an experience out of it. You know, we're going to take our team to North Carolina to see, you know, the whole Duke culture and Coach K court and all that <laughs> stuff. And, and um, so we're going to have some, some, some good matchups, and then we're going to have some tough games, some really tough games and, and games that we're excited about. But again, you know, we just uh, take lessons learned out of every single game and, and um, try to apply it to the Big Sky Conference play. All right, and uh, we're getting uh, close to the end of our time. Estefania, maybe um, what are you, um, just tell me about your thoughts heading into the season as far as what you, you hope to accomplish. Um, so I hope, like, enjoy every practice and every game and, like, the team chemistry. I just like, like, the team being kind of like my family. And I think that outside the court like, are we, like, together and we're, like, really, really, like, together. Yeah, but inside the court, I think we still need to work in our team chemistry, but I know that we're going to get there. So that's what I'm hoping for. And at the end, waiting. That's <laughs> right. That's <laughs> important. Absolutely. And uh, finally, Jared, maybe your final thoughts on, um, you know, what you hope to accomplish and then you're go heading into your senior year. Yeah, um, like like Coach said, we're trying to get better every single day. Um, and for me, heading into senior year, it's to continue to get better until that last day of practice, um, do the extra things I need to do to keep getting better, um, to help the team win, and to have fun. And that's part of winning, because when you're not winning, you're not having fun. Um, but just have fun, um, to keep getting better, um, to just play our hardest every day, leave everything we have on the court. Um, and all right, so again, uh, we're coming up to an exciting season here for both men and women's basketball here for Idaho State basketball. So glad we're able to sit with you and uh, give you a little bit of a taste of what's to come here for Idaho State basketball. Once again, we have uh, head coach Ryan Looney, Jared Stutzman, Estefania Ors, and women's head coach Seton Soboleski joining us here to get a little bit of uh, idea of uh, what we can expect for Idaho State basketball. I know a lot of people here on campus are excited for what's to come and uh, can't wait to, to get to know what we have uh, out of uh, both teams. So thank you once again for joining us. Once again, I'm Dylan Carter, Sports Director for KIFI Local News 8. Thanks for watching.